Vargas. I'm from Cari Hello, Elgeline. Thanks for agreeing to, to speak with us. Um, can you tell me, your, in your presentation just a few minutes ago, you spoke very passionately about the need to form policy. What are some of the gaps existing in policy where Caribbean cybersecurity is concerned? The gap in policies? Um, yes, what I, what I was saying is because we lack data, because we are not collecting the data. We cannot support our decision makers in data for them to make the right decisions. So we need to start collecting our own data, because what you saw in the, in the presentation is that when we say that Latin America and Caribbean, most of the time it's Latin America and something of Caribbean. But we don't know how much of Caribbean is in there. We don't have the facts, we don't have the figures, because we in the Caribbean are not monitoring and we are not collecting. So consequently, we cannot support decision makers in taking the right decisions in cybersecurity measures. Let's see, if we collect data and we see that spam is a big issue, then we know to tell decision makers they should invest in solving the problems in spam. But if spam is not an issue, but phishing, then we should tell them not to invest in spam solutions, but in phishing solutions. So you need the facts and the figures to support the decision. Now, what are the problems, as far as you're aware, that are actually preventing some of the re that data collection from happening? Are there problems with reporting on the ground? Yes. The one issue is that we are not accustomed to collect. Most of the time, it were the software houses, you know, like the enterprise houses, like Semantic, Trend Micro, Microsoft. They collect data for their own purpose, and they share that data. But it's not our own data. It's not data of the islands that are collecting for themselves. We use data that others collect for us. So we lack in reporting our own country, and we lack in uh, 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 co collection and, and monitoring. And we have to do now our own efforts to have our own data. Because you see that sometimes they collect data, but there is a gap because some countries don't have anything of the data. Let's say they don't have Aruba as customer, so they don't have nothing about Aruba because Aruba is not the customer. Uh, Barbados is a big customer, they have all the data on Barbados because we have to collect our own data. And that is, that is the I think what you're identifying there is the fact that data collection is not random, it's not arbitrary. It, it comes from your interest, and if your interest is commercial, then your data collection will be driven by that commercial right, right, interest. Right, right, right. And I think what you're saying is that we, as our, because our interest is collective, that we need to work together to collect the, the kind of data that we need. You are identifying some problems associated with working together in that way. What are some of the problems do you think that are preventing us from working together to collect our data? Yeah. One of the big problems is we have to know what we want to share. Because if you don't know what you want to share, you don't know what to collect, and you don't know what the other person needs. So we will have to start in discussing together what we want, what we want to share. And then we can go, all of us, work on that particular data to share. And why you need to share? Because when you share, you learn from the other countries. You learn of their problems. You learn trends in the Caribbean. And by putting the data together, then we can come up with, oh, it's a trend in the whole Caribbean. Or it's an issue in the South Zone. Or, oh, all the islands have the same issue. So it's, we can work on it together. But we have to share it to learn from each other and to help each other, to empower each other. You know, sometimes, in the world of incident response, it works like this. Um, like this. Maybe you are an expert in botnets. Maybe I am an expert in phishing. Maybe she is an expert in spamming. We share the, the knowledge. 
I don't have to invest in in in, in engineers for spammers, engineer for botnets, engineer. No, we share. When you need somebody who knows everything about fishing, you come to me. I help you. When I need somebody who knows everything about botnets, I go to you. And that is how you bond together to 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 help and empower each other. So that is the issue. Which ties into this forum here, Carib Note. Tell me some more about what CarriSuit or how CarriSuit came to be here as a participant in Caribno. Well, like Nick has been visiting Curaçao for some time already. And in 2008-2009, it was at a LACNIC meeting that Christine Hoopers from Brazil presented the whole concept of Caesar. And that's how Curaçao adopted the whole ID and we started the Caesar. And since that time, we started in 2012, I had to visit LACNIC. So we are always visiting LACNIC. It's a very good platform to meet each other, to meet the other countries, and Karignok also. Kari said we haven't been to Karignok yet, but we will, we will, because it's, it's, a, it's a platform that about infrastructure that we need to be in there, so Excellent. it's a good platform. Thanks for your time. Thank you for your time.